Good morning everyone, welcome back. Glad you made it today to watch my video. We have video unboxing today from Paint Some Way. Uh, so what do we have in here? We have uh, only one canvas of cross stitch kit. We have diamond painting canvases, uh, 3D project which is notebook and some accessories. So I think we will start with accessories and then we will continue this diamond painting. Alright, so what I have in here. First I wanted to show you this cute little cute little protection for your fingers. If you can just let me just get each color, one of each color. Okay, so we have five colors, so it's ten of them in a pack. Here's how they look like. It's very, very squishy, very light. It's not very thick. Um, what is this? Foam? Or what kind of material in here? So it should be comfy for your pencil or pen to hold if you put uh, this protective um, piece on your pencil but I don't know if this will work properly or not on diamond painting pan so we will have to unbox with you some of the diamond painting and try this if this will fit on the pan or maybe this is perfect for your for example crochet hooks I don't know but I thought that would be something good for you to to know the store have especially for those who crochet a lot. Uh, usually the fingers get in sore from holding a hook. So this should be good protective piece for you. Another thing that I see that a uh, new product arrive into the store is this cute magnets that the Ziploc bag doesn't even want to open. Wow, okay. Very cute cute and there is a tape around let's see all right which way to open i think i'm doing it right Okay, there you go. Do you remember my uh, little magnets of hearts with the different kind of uh, designs? And this one also magnet. Um, I didn't really knew what to think about if this is magnet or what because on a picture it did not really show you the other side. I think there is a magnet just like a, this piece. So I didn't know if this kind of like just a sticker on the other side or what. But look at this cute little shell. And they have, I believe, in four colors. Very adorable for the cross stitchers to hold your needle as a needle minder. Also for the diamond painting to hold your uh, squeaky sheet. Which we also can demonstrate right in this video. But I pick in blue and yellow, which is my Ukrainian color. And look at that, the shift, shifting of this colors looks pretty good. I wouldn't say they're like the best quality because I can see the like a air bubble up there um, in this resin or whatever material that is. But it is cute. It is cute. I like it. I like it. And one more thing for my cross stitchers or for those who like to sew on a machine. Uh, I showed you before this kind of tool that I have. Uh, I bought it a long time ago from Michael's, my local store. Also in a gold, no, in a copper kind of color. Uh, I ordered from some other store and then I saw that Paint Some Way added them also to their store and this one is in silver kind of color we have looks like a no it's just not gem this is just a 
empty space like supposed to be for the gem but nobody put a gem in it and just the flowers so this is your thread cutter there is a blade in here around and all those cuts that you see there is a blade inside can we see the blade inside it's supposed to be very very sharp so it's easy to slice your thread when you finish stitch something mine work very well this one looks kind of interesting uh, mine looks seamless the one I bought it before this one looks like from the top and bottom this one like a one piece and and that this piece looks like just a place on the top of this one because we can see the edges so I don't know if this will be comfortable or not but I definitely will test it out this tonight because I am going to cross stitch after this video so maybe in a description box where my links for the product I will uh, add for you if this work well or not all right my friends now we are going to review the book you would think that you already have them and lots of them and I have to say I do have one but it's not the same and that's why it caught my attention and I wanted to uh, review one because I did not purchase uh, any of this um, journals or notebooks for a long long time and I will show you what different that is between this and this now I'm not sure about price if this would be uh, more expensive or not from this one but definitely this book looks to me like a better quality okay can we open there now if we look on this book right away you can see there is much more looks like pages it's much much thicker it has divider for the pages right in here there is a ribbon in here pages uh, I think it's the same color yes it is same color uh, like a yellow like a actual it's yellow pages and I'm not sure right now at this point how many pages here could be but to look them together I think we agree that this one almost like a half from this book so to choose this from this of course I would choose this book instead for a students high school girls or boys uh, boys I don't know if boys would like with gems but definitely for girls um, for journaling for your work whatever you desire to do with it and there's a many of the designs up there and I really like that they have a divider in here with the thin thin ribbon that it's not going to damage your pages and here is the design we have for this one looks very nice and um, this one is I don't know it feels like so real whatever the material is it's fantastic look at that good good quality um, this one black one also good it looks like a same maybe material if we look on a reflection of the light right it looks the same but I mean it's a much more uh, pages in here I and to be honest I like uh, brown color more than black I think this is making more kind of uh, vintage antique I don't know I don't know but I do love this color it kind of suited more suited color of course from the tray and diamonds we have some dent in here marking and I'm just hoping from laying on a flat nice surface maybe even to put like on a sunny spot to soften up this uh, material maybe will go away I'm not sure 
but yes there's nothing they can do because that that's just a dent from the tray from your tools okay now let's see what kind of gems we have with this one are they super sparkle or medium sparkle or horrible we don't know but let's check it out we have a different kind in here Okay. You know what, so far I think the gems is pretty good. Kind of hard to tell right now. But here it is, you can judge together with me. Mm. Why is it not wanna... Okay, look, looks okay to me, gems. Looks like there are good, good clarity of them. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. Blue is just fantastic. And then clear. Then you go into some different shapes in here. Look at that. Gems beautiful. So this design should be very, very pretty. Because good quality diamonds. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness, this one is so gorgeous. This color is amazing. I love the way they shift color into multi-chrome. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, another one. My goodness, I, I'm in love in here. So pretty. And then red. And pearls. Wow, oh, okay. I'm, I'm satisfied with gems. Gems are gorgeous in here. So I think we have a jackpot in here. So my friends, uh, I cannot remember right now what the price for this journal or how much difference between these two, two journals, but this is definitely amazing book. So many more pages and I bet it's not many, maybe not even different price at all. So check it out, store, paint some way and you will see. All right. Oh, by the way, now since we have a pen, let's see if the squishy will fit properly in here or not. pick red so which way should I do thin one up here and take it on the bottom or what okay kinda I can probably can force it doesn't feel like you, you want to slide a lot mm doesn't want to go there maybe this is like I said um, I have to check when I will check my links definitely I will see maybe this tools is for the knitting tools for um, your crochet tools because it looks like for this one is too small in here so basically this is probably what I think it is uh, for the crochet hooks more likely all right now let's see um you know what uh since we have in here only one cross stitch let's do cross stitch first right now and then we have a two bigger diamond paintings everybody knows that i have a golden retrievers at home two of them so i thought this puppy is super sweet it says dog is sleeping and by looking on this canvas on this picture this is 11 count ada 42 by 28 looks like tons of tons of black but look from that black how bright puppy's face lighten up it's like a lamp um, point and on him and I think this is probably golden retriever or could be lab I don't know for me it looks like it's goldy 
and a quilted blanket so his owner definitely a crafty girl I would say and he snuggled on it and dreaming about something so now let's see how many colors in here uh, we have 22 colors in full stitch and we have quite a bit of the back stitch in here one two three six colors six colors in the back stitch so I see the whiskers and eyebrow and a puppy a little bit on the back of his neck uh, then we have on a blanket couple of colors for the um, for this design that outline in here but not too much and basically uh, back stitch in here if you can see it's like almost like straight lines it's a very easy very easy and, and a puppy oh puppy ear of their outline a little bit all right oh lots of black lots of black in here big chunk of black color two needles this is the sharp needles and there it is basically three colors black blue and brown if we will count like just like extreme colors count but many shades of them so that should be interesting and canvas is not very big uh, where, where, where? Okay, it looks like like this. Canvas is actually very soft. It's not stiff, so it will be easy to even put in a frame. Um, we have to look on a picture to see where's the puppy face. Kinda. Okay, so blanket, blanket. Here is his nose, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Interesting interesting how how this is going to look like on 11 count but it is joy sunday looks like it so it should look good because i do love joy sunday so um, here you go wow i'm just surprised how this canvas is so applicable very nice very very soft all right so that is my goldie here now we have two more huge or big diamond painting let's see this uh, diamond painting remind me of the background of uh, flowers for the wedding when people do weddings and create this paper flower background so maybe this canvas created out of that particular uh, designs and by the way right away i can see that we have all oh, double tools two pen two trays and big chunk of wax and all colors already in the ziplock bags look at those colors in here isn't that scrumptiously yummy mm beautiful beautiful lots of pastel colors because this is design kind of pastel i got a fold in here but like right on the edge accidentally they folded together so we are going to rescue a little bit because it really uh, make a deep deep crease in here so we have to fix it by replacing this sheet and by the way right now look at that without squeaky sheet isn't that gorgeous and the specks of glitters is like everywhere it's super super sparkle canvas i don't know how oh yeah you, you can see a reflective look at the sparkles all over the canvas because it's like lots of them it is so gorgeous just to look just like that and look at this design isn't that pretty? I always wanted to try this kind of wool. I do have lots of pre-made paper flowers, but they are tiny. And I thought, okay, maybe I should create something like this. 
I want to cre create with the paper flowers some kind of like a frame. But lots of people create them as a shadow box. Um, in my, I did uh, painted old clock and I was going to decorate it with the paper flowers, but only did first part and never finished yet. Maybe we will do this together with you because this kind of remind me about that project that I wanted to do a long time ago when I was really on the mood about the paper flowers. Uh, this canvas size 75 centimeters and 40. 75 by 40. And 23 colors, all pastel, very airy, I would say, so fresh, so bright. It's beautiful. And you know what? If I would put this canvas just like this and do my video unboxing review or something, I can use this as my background for some video tutorials with you because look how beautiful this would be if I would hold in here. Uh, maybe like a little bit zoom out, so zoom in, I mean, not to see the borders. And look at that, gorgeous background, okay? That's the tip for you YouTubers out there. You can use your diamond painting for your background. Colors, amazing, gorgeous. All right, one more canvas, my friends. One more canvas for today we have to review. And I think lots of people will, will consider, well, especially I think uh, Asian people consider koi fish as good luck for the family. It's uh, good luck to keep them in your house. And this one also in a Ziploc bags. Oh, so awesome. This is wonderful. Kinda, let's just peek a boot through this bag so we don't have to open them. Some very pretty and bright colors. Oh, look at those. Wonderful. And uh, we have a regular toolkit. This canvas 40 by 80 centimeters and we have 24 colors. And look at this beauty. I will even up later because I looks like I'm going to run out of time here. So we're just going to look like this. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. Look at the goldfish. Such a luscious tail in here. Thank you so much. Paint some way for this beautiful product. It looks like this design made of mosaic or something because if I look close you can see kind of like mosaic design. Gorgeous. Maybe thumbnail. You can see better or not. No, I don't know. It is pretty. It is gorgeous. And it's a good size. This one's sturdy canvas and color beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.